Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Katamari Forever. We are partying here with Marcy in the music room, but we don't have long to dance. We've got rolling to do, so let's move along here. We're here on the Katamari collection page of the picture book. We'll be looking at this a little bit more later. For now, let's grab Kuro here and head to the King's Cosmos, where we will be playing the next stage in that campaign. Money! Roll up money to make Venus. And that may sound slightly redundant since we already had the rich stage previously. The goal of the rich stage was to roll up expensive things in the sense that they were wealth themed things. Uh, the wealth of those objects was not quantified in terms of any money amount, but more of an abstract wealthiness. But here we have a much more concrete measure of wealth. We have actual yen amounts. So, we're going to be totaling up the dollar value, as it were, of the objects in our environment in order to make the most expensive Katamari we can. We've got Kuro there. He's got that very nice Gundam-looking antenna. Got some very spiky-looking drums at his waist. And we've got four minutes to cash it in. All right, let's roll. So as you can see, we've got down in the bottom left, dollar, well, yen values for each of the objects we roll up. This uh, is stage is very much like the uh, calorie stage. Oh, the old 7-10 split on the uh, bowling pins there. Reminds me of uh, whatever make a star stage that was in Katamari Damacy in which you roll down a hill into bowling pins. Anyway, yeah, like I was saying, this stage is extremely reminiscent of the, the uh, kilo calorie stage in which we were trying to get the most caloric foods possible. In this case, we're rolling up the most expensive objects we can. And we've got, well, a kind of a sparsity of uh, small objects here. So we're working our way up to a larger size. Oh, and uh, couldn't possibly have a money-themed stage without a banana stand. Now, as they say, there is always money in the banana stand. Any, any Arrested Development fans in the house? Anyway, picked up a ring case there, uh, and inside of it would have been an expensive ring. I didn't see the actual value of that. But that's sort of the, uh, the interesting thing about this stage. Whereas a small ruby or diamond ring would be pretty worthless in a normal Katamari stage because of its small size, it's actually one of the most sought after objects here. And so you want to be on the lookout for things that are easy to roll up, but maybe not in obvious places. And flashback to Corona Borealis, we just picked up a nice expensive crown there among some other objects here at this flea market, Montgomery, it's just like a mini mall. And right here in the same flea market, we'll be finding our cousin and present for the stage. There is only one of each this time around, and they happen to both be here pretty close to one another. That cousin there is uh, not the one we're looking for. That's Ichigo, someone we have already rolled up in another stage. Um, some of the stages in this game, you'll find cousins you've already rolled up appearing and doing interesting things. Ichigo there was break dancing on a mat in front of someone's stand. I suspect, though I'm not entirely sure about this, I suspect that all of the stages in this game that have that element of past cousins reappearing are all from the same game, and I would have to guess that that game is probably Beautiful Katamari, because that's the one that I haven't really played. So uh, perhaps this, and um, I believe, what was it, um, Small Just Right? had a potential for previous cousins to reappear on it as well. So I, I would guess that these stages are ones that originally appeared in Beautiful Katamari, but yeah, not sure about that. This wedding scene here is a great place to pick up money. money. Both uh, this kimono and there's a harp around here, both of those are very valuable objects. We're not quite to the size we need to pick those up yet, so we'll just move along. And if we go through this tunnel here, we reappear on the opposite side of the stage, which is kind of handy. It's not a very big stage, but still nice to have that, I guess. These umbrellas and pizzas and things aren't very expensive, so not really what we're looking for. We're currently at 3 million on the dollar scale there, hoping to pick up some more 
expensive objects before our time runs out. A mere 30 seconds left on the clock. This is a pretty short one. I think we'll be doing it again. Especially since I don't think I have time to get back around to get that present before time runs out. Oh, or the cousin. I didn't... I, I completely forgot to pick up the cousin, too. Okay, well, at least we're here to get the harp, which is, what, 250,000? And the kimono, which is 900... Was it 99,999 or 990... It must have been 99,999. In any case, it was a valuable object, as was the heart. But that's all the time we have for this run. Done and done. Got lots of valuables. We'll soon know. Jet. Royal Rainbow! And total up our tab. How much is this Katamari worth? I would like to know. Were the prices always this crazy, or is it us? Yes, yes. Prices always on the rise, as are our Katamari's size. 4,705,637 yen. I have no clue whether that's good. I'm not familiar with the conversion rate. Especially the 2009 conversion rate. Mostly food, also partitions and cooking. The food things, sure. Are cooking things so pricey? I feel like that line would have worked better if food and cooking hadn't been so similar. A mere 23 points, but that's to be expected. I didn't feel particularly good about that run. This is a very random stage, though. I don't often know for sure how well I'm doing if I'm not actually watching the money amount. It's very little correlation between size and price. But... We have plenty of time left, that didn't take long at all, so let's do it again. Hello everyone, I'm back here in the King's Cosmos looking to get real paid. Trying once again, with four minutes on the clock, to pick up as many valuable objects as we can. Accumulate the most possible price, the most cents, the most dollars, the most yen, etc. And we're also looking to pick up the cousin and present, which I unfortunately totally overlooked last time. Got a little bit preoccupied talking about cousins and expensive things. But what I did not talk about last time is this music. This is a mashup of You Are Smart from the original Katamari Damacy and um, Everlasting Love from uh, We Love Katamari, Mina Daisuke Katamari. One of the most memorable songs from that game, definitely, Everlasting Love was. And it, it was originally in Japanese in that game, but the lyrics here are translated into English, and not sure I care for the effect of that. But it, I do really enjoy the mashup. I think it's pretty clever. And we're back here at the flea market, picking up that expensive crown. I'm going to pick up the ring from the banana stand around here, if I can find that again. I thought it was here at the entrance, but I must have been mistaken. Hmm. In any case, our cousin's right back here. I'm not sure if I'm quite up to size, though. Ah, I am. And it's Odeon. Odeon is one of those ones that I mentioned when we picked up Dangle. I'm not a super big fan of. They're much like just mutilated versions of the prints. They've got the same color scheme, but there's always something horribly wrong with them. Johnson's face is printed on the side of his head. Dangle's got, like really long arms that hang out of the side of his head and Odeon's face is um, actually up on his antenna instead of on his head where it should be. So they've all got weird head trauma going on and I wouldn't be playing any of those cousins since I think they're kind of boring except I got a request in the comments section of an earlier video asking me to play as Odeon so I will be doing that definitely. I'm always happy to please my fans so if there's a specific cousin you like or even a specific royal present you'd like to see me use some more just let me know and I'll certainly abide in the later video keep in mind that I record these kind of ahead of time though so it might not happen right away but I'll get to it when I can I'm gonna pick up Ichigo here who's oh no, I guess we're not actually who's a uh, break dancing once again but it wouldn't actually be a wise idea to do so since cousins like all living things on this stage have no dollar value in our only useful for getting larger. And speaking of larger, we should be large enough to get the royal present, which is hiding back here amongst a number of other boxes. We'll have to guess what that is, find out a little bit later. And with just a minute remaining on the clock, we're currently at 1,463,000 yen, so doing 
significantly worse than last time, I think it's safe to say, but we were picking up cousins and presents this time, so that's to be somewhat expected. Also, we haven't picked up the uh, King's Heart, the King's Broken Heart yet, which is always a pretty big boon. So we'll be looking to do that before time runs out, if I can get over there. Might not be able to get over there. I think I am going to give this one more go before this video is over. Hopefully no one's tired of it yet, because I would like to get a decent score before all is done here. Let's get that broken heart. Yeah, just like that. Ooh, and our score shot up to over 6 million. Feeling good about that. Gonna pick up the harp, gonna pick up the kimono. We're now over 7 million. Doing pretty well, actually. Quite a lot better than last time. Like I said, it's all, it's all very random to me. I, I don't have a clear sense of what the most valuable objects are or where they are. Just a lot to learn about this level for me still, I guess. Oh yeah, we've had a, a very good last 40 seconds or so. Now it's 7.5 million. Maybe I don't have to do this again. I think I salvaged that all pretty well. Anyway, let's take the... Royal Rainbow! Out to check out and pay for this Katamari. Let's see how much it costs. Just can't recall much about prices. I know the feeling. 7,625,760 yen. Come see, come saw. That, that sounds like a declaration of averageness. Interestingly, 999 objects. The seats, sure. Are adults so pricey? See, that's, that's the kind of statement that we're supposed to get here. 54 points. That seems pretty reasonable. You've done it now. Rock bottom Gatamari. Hey, I thought it was, I thought it was fine. We've done a lot worse than that. And there's our royal present. Looking a, a bit like horns there, but I think that's just because of Kuro. I think that's not what it actually is. And there's Odeon come to hang out. Do I want a star or do I want stardust? Well, this uncomfortable bench Venus. Uncomfortable bench Venus? <laughs> oh, because we rolled up seating objects and because we were average in quality, it's an uncomfortable bench. Weird. And I guess overcooked Venus previously because we had mostly food and cooking things and we had a poor score. Um, I'm going to make a star. We're going to put that uncomfortable bench Venus right up there into space. Going to let that become part of our solar system. And I am, I think, I think I'm going to give this one more go just to, to see if we can get a better score. But first, let's head to the Cousins and Presents stand where we're going to check out our new cousin Odeon just as... As soon as my PlayStation 3 updates the network with my new high score and auto saves for me, since those are mandatory operations, apparently. Here we are at the Cousins and Presents stand. Let's first head over to Cousins, where we've got all of our cousins hanging around on balloons. Where are you, Odeon? Here we go. Gonna pop that balloon with these birds of ours. Odeon's gonna fall to the ground. And we'll be right here to catch him. Then head over to the present stand. Oh wow, what a what a mess. <laughs> okay, so I think the the request was to see what Odeon would look like wearing the or er, the scarf. It was yeah, the scarf. <laughs> it uh it doesn't go around the actual neck where you would expect the neck to be on this cousin, but it goes around the antenna. Now what I'm interested in is what happens if you equip the antenna gift? Does his head get bigger? No, he gets a second antenna on top of his existing antenna. That's fantastic. All right, this is the cousin we're going to be taking as we do our third and last for today run of the Kings. Um, what was it? Money, money stage. Let's roll. Okay, back here for number three. Three might be one too many, but whatever. I feel like still playing, but I don't really have time to do another video right now. So here I am playing the money stage once more. Let's see how we do on the bowling this time around. Boom, still eight out of 10. All right, well, I'll pick up the spare anyway. I was told that uh, in the original Katamari Damashi, when I played whatever the stage it was with the bowling pins, I was rolling down the hill, I was on track to hit the bowling pins, and some stupid student walked in my way and just, just kicked the Katamari right out from hitting any of the bowling pins. And I expressed some frustration at this, and apparently I was a little bit too loud, some people told me. 
I, I don't know about that. I just, I think I normally speak really quietly because when I'm recording these, I'm alone in my room, so I don't feel the need to speak up too much. So when I say something loudly like, oh, I don't know, Royal Rainbow or something like that, I've been told I come across as a little bit loud, <laughs> but that's not going to change unless I start talking louder all of the time and then those won't seem so loud in comparison, but I'm working on it. We'll see progress in time, just as we're seeing progress with this Katamari. Two minutes on the clock, working our way up to our first million. They say the first million's the hardest, I think that's the case here. And I'm just in an awful place filled with like radishes and crap. What I need is money, and vegetables are not money. So let's head over here to the flea market where lots of things are for sale, some of them expensive. This trophy looks nice. What's a trophy worth? 55,555. And three of these swords here are made of bamboo, but the katana is actually worth something, so you'll want to roll those up if you can. Is that a ring there on that, uh, on that food cart being pushed around? I think it is. So let's prince hop up there and fetch that if we can, or just miss entirely and then get booted about. That's fine too. Well, let's not waste any more time with that since I'm apparently incapable of getting it. Look at that champion's belt there. Not sure how much that was worth since I rolled something else up immediately afterward, but I imagine it was somewhat expensive given that it's possessed only by champions, which includes us, of course. I mean, Odeon there looking a little bit like a champion with his antenna on top of antenna. Kuro also had two antenna, though in a very different configuration than, uh, than Odeon. Oh man, I can't roll right away because Odeon's exhausted. That's too bad. Because I really am not in a good place at the moment. Anyway, those, yeah, those rice aren't doing it. I need to get somewhere with expensive things because we're just over a million with a minute on the clock. Not feeling good about this run at all. At least last time I had the excuse that I was rolling up presents and cousins and things. Here, I, I don't know what's happening. Let's find that uh, royal heart. It should be right up here, right? I don't know my way around this town very well. I am ill-prepared for this, for this venture. There it is. Okay. Yeah, I really should have done some research. Tried to locate where the expensive objects are on the stage so that I could feel a little bit better about my performance. Oh man, not large enough to pick up the things in the wedding party even. This is a disaster. Only at three million right now. Can't pick up the harp, can't pick up the kimono. Oh dear, what are we going to do? Let's pick up some computers. Um, maybe, all right, well let's pick up the ring at the banana stand. Always money there. Roll around here in the flea market. Hope to pick up a few small expensive things, but it is, it is not looking pleasant. This is going to be our worst Katamari on this stage yet. I knew, I knew three times was too many. If we're not rolling up cows and bears, I should not be playing a stage three times on video. And, and this proves it. <laughs> All right, back to space. Royal Rainbow! And receive our punishment for this pathetic excuse of a Katamari. See what I mean about the randomness? Like you would think doing it three times that I would get better at it. You wouldn't expect our best score to be the one in which I was picking up presents and cousins. You'd expect the third one when I've gotten practice to be best, but it's just those expensive things. Either you, you get the expensive things or you don't, and that's what determines the score here. I, I, I'm not playing right. Like I, I need to adjust for the metric of this stage and not just play it absentmindedly getting as large as I can. Yeah, 23 points. I deserve that. I'll take that. We're gonna make this into Stardust. Yes, yes, go ahead, King. Tell us about our failure in that red text box of sadness. Make make Stardust. Burned Venus. We're burning you to Stardust. And the uncomfortable bench Venus will remain supreme because that's all the time we have today. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you back next time.